Today we are going to talk about why we love APM Team Center and why you should too. When CA Application Performance Management, then known as Wiley Interscope, was first introduced, it helped create the standard for performance monitoring of Java applications. You can think of it like basic traffic analytics. You could put out a sensor, for example an agent, on a particular road, such as an application host, and it would collect basic metric data about the traffic that came over the sensor. Date, time, vehicle count, direction, speed, the gap between vehicles, and so forth. Knowing the basic information about the road, speed limit, urban, or suburban location, this data could be used to create red flags, for instance alerts, if there were dangerous situations. The initial APM data model, based on metric data, allowed calculation of what became known as blame point metrics. Measures like average response time, responses per interval, stall counts, and errors per interval could be calculated every 15 seconds and viewed as either live or historic time periods. Alerts could be calculated to show when component performance went outside expected ranges. The metric data had to be analyzed by application specialists. To make the data more visible, dashboards could be created. These were powerful but difficult to create and unresponsive to changing conditions. There were two perspectives that weren't being addressed by this data model, the individual transaction and the high-level user perspective. Take a dash-mounted camera for instance. Beyond basic traffic metrics is the personal perspective that the dash-mounted camera provides. When you are trying to analyze a particular traffic event, the dash cam provides a view of the entire event from before it begins until it ends. That is the idea of the second APM data model, called Transaction Traces. The APM agent can detect not just which application components were accessed, but also various data points about them. In the summary view, you get a catalog of the components called, the number of times they were called in one transaction, and the duration of how long the component was active. The trace view revolutionized the game by visualizing the way one component called another and the percentage of the total transaction time represented by that component. The tree view uses color coding and percentages along with other metadata to see exactly where in the transaction signal chain problems are occurring. All of these together provide a powerful resource for debugging problem transactions. But we still lack one of the most important perspectives about understanding what is happening with applications. The most recent traffic data model is also one that is helpful not just for traffic analysts, but also for the average motorist. This is a traffic map. The traffic map is a topological study of the traffic flow and events for an entire geographical area. It goes beyond the reporting of a specific road, for example application, or event, for example wreck, closed road, or flooded street. The best versions of a traffic map are scalable. That is, they can depict a large geographic area or can zoom into a specific subset of the map. In the same way, APM Team Center now includes the same ability to depict not just the technical events of an application, but also the user-oriented view of how a customer's experience is being impacted. One of the great innovations of Team Center was its ability to aggregate transaction trace data, combine it with the traditional metric data, and visualize it into a topological map of your applications. The map view depicts the various application components as either the nodes or the links between nodes. Because all of these components are being monitored with alerts and blame point metrics, these elements are visualized also. By selecting a specific node or link, you can see the name of the component, relevant alert status, variance intensity, metric histograms, and attribute values. Variance intensity is another innovation unique to Team Center. Variance intensity is a product of the differential analysis engine. Anytime the average response time related to the component trends higher than expected, the variance intensity goes up. A single transaction or component event won't cause a spike in the intensity, but a prolonged spike of slow average response times will. Easy to see indicators like alert status and variance intensity help everyone to recognize brewing or historical issues in a server or application. What makes the map and the related indicators even more powerful is the ability to see the data from a historical point of view. You may have a report that a problem was occurring at a certain time, but it isn't now. No problem. The custom time range and visible timeline let you go back to when the problem began and see what components, alerts, and events were happening. Notice in this example, we have discovered that shortly after a JSP servlet service was removed, a danger alert was triggered. While this doesn't tell the whole story, it may be enough for someone who isn't an application expert to do the initial triage of the situation and pinpoint the possible culprit. Part of the reason why managers and less experienced analysts can get such helpful views of the data is because APM Team Center can be set up in an enterprise mode, which aggregates the metric, transaction trace, and topological data from many enterprise managers simultaneously. 
Though most analysts won't be responsible for monitoring the entire enterprise, administrators get that overall top-down view. Others will be monitoring specific systems or groups of systems. Each monitored EM, or cluster, is represented in Team Center as a universe. Analysts can be assigned to specific universes so that they will see only the data from servers and agents that they care about. You can also create custom universes by filtering the map based on selected attributes like agent, location, business service name, and many others. Once a new universe is created, you can assign teams or individuals so they can access and monitor it. Universes let you target the specific applications, agents, and components that you care about. But how can you create a custom view to see them organized in a way that meets your needs? This is done using simple to create perspectives. Perspectives combined with universes give you the equivalent of dashboards that analysts and managers alike can use to monitor application performance and outages. Perspectives let you organize the map according to component groupings that let you hide complexity but access the data in a way that gets the solutions faster. Perspectives group nodes based on component metadata like agent, host name, business service, location, and so on. A single group node may represent a single or many component nodes. Perspectives can be single or multi-layer views. The one in this example organizes the view into four layers, end user, application, host name, and agent. When a group node shows a warning or danger alert, expand it to reveal the components beneath. While the map, along with universes and perspectives, depicted the topological data that Team Center can create, it still lacked the value that the traffic map provides, an end user perspective. So as of APM 10.5.1, new capabilities were added to Team Center. The map makes analysis easier, but it is still a technical tool. What was still needed was a customer-oriented view. The experience view provides a customizable, customer-oriented dashboard that takes advantage of both the older data models and the newer customer experience capabilities. More than ever, the knowledge and analytical abilities of application specialists is built into Team Center analytic engines. Features like differential analysis and assisted triage are combined with the tried and true metric data and transaction traces to provide a powerful and scalable way to understand your application environments. Let's take a quick walk through some of the main capabilities. The Experience View takes advantage of Team Center's enterprise capabilities by providing a dashboard of statuses where you can quickly see the health of your systems from many different points of view. Experience cards can be easily created that depict the data in a way that makes the most sense to you. Notice that in this example, there are experience cards based on servers, locations, and applications. Each experience card provides an instant dashboard of information about the health of the relevant components. Each time period can be chosen to analyze, as short as 8 minutes or up to 24 hours. This can be either the most recent or a historical time period. For that time period, you see a health status of the components that anyone can read and understand. Slow and failed transactions are highlighted. If the assisted triage analytics engine detects any patterns causing consistent customer experience problems, these are red flagged. When persistent problems are flagged, you can drill into the experience card to see more details. All the data is now broken out into groups based on attribute filters you select. In this example, we started with an experience card related to components based in the New York Data Center. We were able to identify New York-based components due to a custom attribute that was added to the data model by using attribute rules. When we drill into this, we see that the portion of the Tixchange application based in New York is experiencing slow transactions. As a result, two problems have been detected which are affecting customer experience. Drilling into this experience subcard links you to the map specific to this experience. By accessing the map through the experience card, it targets the problem issues for you rather than you having to dig them out yourself. When you discover a troublesome node, you can select it. And a whole new set of metrics and metadata can be inspected. In the past, you would have had to change the user interface to WebView or the APM workstation to investigate blame point metrics, resource metrics, and alerts. Now, ATC shows these values within the same panel along with built-in and custom component attribute values. Although the analysis we've seen so far has been powerful, we still had to do a bit of digging to uncover the findings. What can make all of that even simpler is the results of the assisted triage engine in the form of problems and anomalies. Remember that problems are issues that have a demonstrated impact on user experience. Anomalies are issues that have been noticed but haven't had a serious user impact yet. 
Selecting a problem reveals information that points you to exactly the culprit that is causing the issue. You'll see information like the component name, the impact of transaction, how long the problem has been persisting, which alerts have been triggered because of the problem, and other metadata such as the owner of the component in question. The Share URL feature lets you create a kind of bookmark that can be sent to application specialists so they can understand exactly what you are seeing. In the end, Team Center takes advantage of all the data models that have been part of APM's history. Metric data is depicted in charts and varies intensity. Transaction traces help build the map. New techniques are used to display a topological view of the components and related metric data. Advanced analytic engines like Assisted Triage help interpret the data to provide customer experience measures that can be read and understood by everyone from managers to application specialists. The application performance management capability of CA Digital Experience Insights provides the next step in the evolution of APM. This SaaS-based solution combines the advantages of Team Center, WebView, and Workstation into a single user interface. Visit the address on your screen to get more information and get started with a free trial today. Do you also love APM Team Center? Upgrading is easy. Just perform the following steps. Evaluate the existing environment, prepare for the upgrade, deploy the upgrade, and perform various post-upgrade verification and configuration. Please visit the CA APM Communities page to learn how easy it is to upgrade. Here you will find useful information, such as the value of upgrading, view new features and capabilities, and step-by-step -step videos to help you upgrade to CA APM 10 in four easy steps. Thank you for viewing this video about APM Team Center and why we think you are going to love it. Thank you for watching this video on how to maximize the customer experience with CA APM Team Center. For more CA application performance management videos, subscribe to the CA APM channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA application performance management, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or see the learning path.